daily devotion with Pastor Paula for September 11th, 2021 from Psalm chapter 56, Trusting God in the Midst of Evil. Is it easy to trust in God when you're standing in the midst of evil? I'm sure it's not easy for law enforcement or the military, but they do it in order to protect others. But what about us in our daily lives? Because as Christians, we need to realize that the devil is constantly trying to devour us, as St. Peter reminds us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So let's hear from the psalmist as we look a little bit closer at Psalm chapter 56, verse 1. Be gracious to me, O God, for man tramples on me. All day long an attacker opposes me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many attack me proudly. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Well, I will admit, that's not easy to do. It takes a great deal of trust in God's promises. What can flesh do to me? Jesus does have an answer to that. From Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Yes, people can destroy this body of mine. But ultimately, we are to put our fear and trust in God above all things, regardless what happens to this body. Verse 5, All day long they injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They lurk. They watch my steps as they have waited for my life. For their crime will they escape? In wrath cast down the peoples, O God. The psalmist notes that the ones doing the evil will not escape. This helps us to realize that it is not about the here and now that we have to worry about. It's about the rest of eternity. So to continue to put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ is the key, regardless what's happening around us. Verse 8, You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? The psalmist knows that God does indeed know what's going on in our lives. And God also knows if we're putting our faith and trust in him above all things. As the psalmist notes, what can man do to me? Man cannot separate me from God, as St. Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 8, verse 38. For I am convinced, for I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So the psalmist ends, reaffirming his trust in God because God has indeed delivered the psalmist and us from eternal death. Verse 12, I must perform my vows to you, O God. I will render thank offerings to you. 
For you have delivered my soul from death, yes, my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.